we're going to start on our back. So come on to your back when you're ready. And bring your arms down by your side and close your eyes. And mercy, just turn your palms up. Let your feet lay out. Here she comes. Wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Good. And then stretch your arms all the way up and over your head. Point your toes. Nice and long. <clears throat> and then we'll draw the knees into the chest. Do a couple circles with your knees. Circling to the right, circling to the left. So last week I had this funny experience. So draw your knees all the way over to the right, arms in a T, head to the left. I had come back from somewhere, weekend somewhere. And I remember I had taken this ring off and I'm like, in, the, in my mind, I said, I'm going to put it here so I don't lose it, right? I'm going to put it in. And I, of course, couldn't remember where that thing, place was that I put it so I didn't lose it. So a week or two goes by and I can't find the ring. I'm looking for it in all the places that I thought I had put it for safekeeping. Knees back to center over to the other side. And at some point I just said, okay, I'm going to find it. I know it's around, I'm going to stop looking for it because that's when we find things, right? When we stop looking for them, sometimes they show up. So bring your knees back up, plant both feet, walk the feet hip distance. We're going to lift up into a bridge pose and walk your arms all the way underneath you. Just press into the feet, interlace the hands, roll the shoulder blades together. So like two weeks goes by, I still haven't found the ring. And we go, my husband and I go out to dinner and we have to valet the car. So I take my key off of my keychain, I leave it for the valet later on that night when they bring the car back, we drive home. Cause you know, the cars, you don't need to put the key in the car anymore. It's just sitting in the car. So I forget about that. We go home, we go inside. The next morning he has to go to work, slowly lower all the way down. And then you're gonna hug the right knee into your chest and straighten the left leg all the way to the floor. So he goes to work and I guess he must have just clicked lock on my car as he left and pulled his car out of the garage. So bring your head towards your knee and then if you can, you're going to hover the left leg up. Good. And then from here, if you can, you're going to reach the arms alongside your knee. Belly draws in. Good. Two more breaths here. Hello. And slowly lower the leg down. And we'll switch. So left knee comes into your chest, hug it in. First, so we're just accessing our hip flexors. Then we're going to bring the head to the knee. And then maybe we're going to lift the right leg. And then maybe as you flex both feet, so flex those feet, Marcy. Flex them. Yeah. We're going to sound both sides. So my husband is for work. He, lost, he must have locked my car. I had left the key in the car because I didn't remember that it wasn't attached to the key anymore. So the next morning, I have to go run an errand. Thankfully, I didn't have to get here to teach. Slowly lower all of that down. Good. And then draw your knees into your chest. And we're going to rock our way all the way onto our hands and knees. So rock a few times if you want. Just waking up the whole spine. And then cross the ankles and come onto your hands and knees. So I go out to run an errand when my car is locked in house. 
So first I had forgotten about the whole key thing. So I go into my purse to look for my key. Round and how hard to find. I find the ring. <laughs> the ring was in there. And I know I check in my purse, but the universe gives us what we need when we're ready for it, right? So sometimes if we just surrender what we think we need, the universe provides. So just arching and rounding here. A couple more, just warming up the spine. Feel free to move in any direction you want. So I started to think about that. You know, it happens to us, right? It's like when we go shopping and we find, you know, what we're not shopping for, but we find something else. Stuff like that happens all the time. So open your mind today to what the universe is going to offer you on the mat. It may not be what you're expecting, but it'll be what you need today. So come to neutral. We're going to reach the right arm forward and the left leg back if that's possible. Good. Reach through the fingers, flex the foot, lengthen. As you exhale, we're going to bend elbow to knee, tuck it in, curl in. Inhale, we're going to get long, flex the foot, good, exhale, curl and round, inhale, lengthen, exhale, squeeze it in and round, one more, inhale, and one more, exhale, curl and round, so now as you reach the arm cord and the leg back, bend the left knee, sweep the right hand around, see if you can grab the foot. Once you do that, try to bring your right shoulder back forward. Try to kick the left leg up and lift the chest. So sometimes it helps us just to surrender what we're fighting for, what we're looking for, what we think we need, and let the universe guide us. So that's your practice today. Release the leg, release the arm, set the hand and the knee down. Whatever your expectations are for class, for yourself, just let that go. Left arm forward, right leg back, flex the foot. Good. As you exhale, curl and round. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl and squeeze it in. Inhale, nice and long. <clears throat> Exhale, round. Last one. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Uh, as we get long, bend your right knee. Sweep the left hand back. See if you can grab the foot. And once you do, draw the left shoulder forward and kick the right leg up. Keep the chest lifted. Belly strong and beautiful. Two more breaths here. Squeeze that right knee in a little bit and then soften to what is available. Release the hand, release the knee. Inhale, arch your spine. As you exhale, we're going to curl and round and find downward dog. So rounding all the way through, curl the toes, press back into your downward dog. Sometimes we find what we're not looking for. So maybe soften a little bit, explore something you weren't expecting. And now I'm gonna ask you to lift the right leg up nice and high. And as you do, press into the left toes and lift the left heel. Good. And then lower the left heel. Keep the right leg lifted. Good. Inhale, press into the toes, lift the left heel. Exhale, lower into the left heel. One more. Inhale, press into the toes, lift the heel. As you exhale, keep it lifted, draw the right knee towards your nose, step the foot in between the hands, drop your back knee to the mat. 
Inhale, let's reach those arms up, soften the shoulders onto the asana. First one today. We, we always show up with expectations for ourselves, so soften them. Look for, let, don't look for something, let it find you. As you exhale, set the hands down, throw the back toes under, lift your back knee, float your right leg all the way up. And we're gonna stack the hips, so feel free to circle that knee around a little bit. Opening up that right hip. And then set the right foot next to the left, so we're backing down with dog. And lift the left leg up nice and high. Flex the foot. As you inhale, press into those toes and lift the right heel. As you exhale, lower the heel towards the mat. Good, inhale, press up. Exhale, lower the heel. Inhale, press into the toes, lift the heel. Exhale, we're gonna lower it. Last one, as you lift the heel, keep it lifted. Draw the left knee towards your nose, round through, step the foot in between your hands, drop your back knee. Inhale, brings you up into a high, or sorry, into your Anjaneyasana. Softening into that left knee. Good. Shoulders lower. We're going to exhale, set the hands down, curl the back toes under, lift the back knee, float the right leg up, let's stack the hips. Maybe we're doing those circles. Up to you. And then draw the hips back, step that left foot down and start to walk the feet towards the hand. Find the front of your mat and let's roll up slowly. Good. Coming into Tadasana, mountain foot. From here, as you inhale, bring the arms all the way around and up, palms cut, nice and slow. Exhale, we're gonna forward fold, bend your knees if you need to, let the head go. Inhale, we're gonna find our flat back here, so hands to the chins or fingertips to the floor. As you exhale, we're gonna step back to our plank and lower through your push-up or knees, chest and chin. Inhale, press into a high cobra. So lift the chest, good, or baby cobra, whatever works for you, and find your way back to downward dog. So think about those times in the body where the unexpected happens. Right? You're trying for one thing and something else happens. Or one day on your mat, you're like, oh my goodness, I could do this thing I didn't even know I could do. The things happen all the time. That's the universe offering us what we need, even though we don't realize it. What if we just surrendered a little bit of that? That expectation and judgment we have. Inhale, high on the toes. Exhale, knees bend, hop, step or float the feet to the hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, we're going to forward fold, let the head go. Inhale, bring your arms all the way around your neck. Exhale, hands to your heart. Good, again, inhale, arms around and up. Exhale, we're going to forward fold, hinge and fold. Inhale, we'll find our flat back, so lengthen. Exhale, moves us through plank, shut around. Inhale, high cobra, soften the shoulders, lift the chest. Exhale, rolls you back down or down, lengthen. Five.
Next inhale, high on the toe. Next up, sub underneath, hop, step, or float the feet to the hands. Inhale, find your flat back here. Exhale, we're gonna forward fold, let the head go. Inhale, sit into your chair, each good toss the mask, up into the heel, soften the shoulders, you got it. And we'll exhale, forward fold again. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, move through your vinyasa. So let your child put be your neutral today. Right? Inhale, if you need to just surrender to the universe, see what's going to be offered, come to child pose. It's such a nice tool to use in the body. Right leg is going to lift, press into the left toes, lift that left heel nice and high, squeeze. If you exhale, bend your right knee, draw it to your nose, round forward, step the foot in between your hands, drop your back knee to the mat. Inhale, float your arms all the way up, soften the shoulders. Good, as you exhale, we're gonna set the hands down, one on either side of your front foot, and shift the weight into the back knee, flex your right foot, hold here. Keep the left hand down, float your right arm up to the sky. So we're gonna twist here, squeeze your inner thighs towards each other. Exhale, step the right hand down, bend into the right knee, curl the back toes under, lift the back knee, step to your plank. Good. If you want it in your office, take it. If not, downward dog, child pose. We're receiving today. So it's a little passive sometimes. But I'll let it go and see what is offered. Left leg lift, press into the right toes, get high on that heel. Then draw the left knee towards the nose, round forward, keep the belly strong. Step the foot in between the hands, stop the back knee. Inhale, we're going to reach the arms all the way up. And then as you exhale, we're going to set the hands down, shift into the back knee, flex the left foot, folding over that left leg. Keep the right hand planted, let the left arm reach up to the sky. Accessing your twist. And then left hand comes down, bend into your left knee, curl the back toes under, lift that back knee. We're gonna meet in plank, inhale. And lower, chaturanga. Good, inhale, high cobra. Exhale, bring the back, downward dog. So five breaths here. Child pose is your neutral today. Inhale, high on the toes. Exhale, knees bend. Hop, step, or float the feet to the hands. Inhale, flat back here. Exhale, we're going to forward fold. Inhale, sit into your chair. So find your Utskatasana. Good, soften the shoulders, Sam, if you can. So press into those heels and maybe even float the toes up for a second. Good, bud. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back here, so lengthen. Exhale, we're gonna move through plank, chaturanga. Good, inhale, high cobra, lift. Exhale, it back, downward dog, lengthen. Plant the left foot, step the right foot forward. So warrior one, arms reach up to the sky, ground into the back heel, good Marcy, bend into the front knee. And then surrender, right? Soften the shoulders, good. 
There you go. It's good. Red. <laughs> Knee's going to move out towards the pinky toe side of the foot. Remind me of your name. Melissa. Thank you. Okay. As you exhale, windmill the hands all the way down to the mat. As you inhale, move to your plank. You decide, right? Let's just see what's available. Open your mind to the possibilities. Let the universe give you what you need. Sometimes it's nice to not be in control, right? Just to let the practice flow through you. Plant your right foot, step your left foot forward, warrior one. Inhale. Good. Softening and set front knee, pressing into the back heel, big toe. Good. And then let's do it again. As you exhale, set those hands all the way to the mat. Inhale, come to your plank. Exhale, shutter under. Inhale, high pull. Exhale, downward dog. Wink. Breathe. Here. All right, next inhale, high on the toes. Next up, down knees, then hop, step, close the feet to the hands. Good. Inhale, flat back here. Exhale, we're going to forward fold. Inhale, sit in your chair, Utkatasana. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, flat back. We'll need in downward dog. So see what you need today. It may not be what you think. Maybe skipping something brings you something else. And something unexpected. Clamp the left foot, step the right foot forward. We're going to come into warrior one. Inhale. As you exhale, let's move to warrior two. So shift your front heel to line up with your back heel or arch. Roll that right knee out towards the pinky toe side of the foot. So you're working the outer side. Let's turn those palms up to the sky and reverse your warrior. Good. Stay bent through the front knee. Good, Ruthie. Good, Dina. Then bring your right forearm to your right thigh. And let your left arm reach up to the sky first. And then you're going to sweep that left arm down underneath your right thigh. So press into the feet as you sweep it down. And then inhale, bring it back up. Yeah, a couple of times. Get me oblique. Exhale, sweep it down. Inhale it up. Exhale again, sweep it down. Inhale up. Last one. Sweep it down. And then as you bring it up, we're going to wrap it. So bend the elbow, bring it behind you, either rest it in your lower back, or tuck it around and grab that front thigh. Good. Let that left shoulder open up to the sky. If you look lot more, you're going to reach that left arm forward towards the front of the room off your, off your leg. Yeah, good hand. You want that. Two more busts. So if you can, Marcy, just look up to the sky when you're doing that. Like that way, over the shoulder. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> then as you exhale, windmill those hands all the way down to the mat. We're gonna move through vinyasa or skip it. Take away all expectations. Let it go. When you you get offered something. It's like when you're open to it. It comes. We're gonna plant the right foot, step the left foot forward, warrior one, inhale, ground into the back foot, bend into the front knee, soften the shoulders. Good. As you exhale, open to warrior two. So front heel lines up with back heel or arch. Arms are nice and strong. Lift that back arm if you can. Good, beautiful. Knee moves out towards the pinky toe side of the foot. 
turn those palms up. Let's reverse the warrior, but hold that front knee nice and steady. Good job, guys. Knee can move out this way, yeah. And then we're gonna bring the left forearm to the left side and the right arm reaches up to the sky. As you exhale, sweep that right arm down. As you inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, sweep it down. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, sweep it down. Inhale up. Last one. Exhale it down. Inhale it up. Now it's going to wrap the arms. So bend the elbow. Hand comes to the middle back. It wraps around to your front side. You can decide from here too if you want to reach that bottom arm forward. Yeah. Good. Letting that right shoulder, yeah, there you go, that's it. It's like you're still twisting, it's just adding the abs to it, is it? Hey, Fred, awesome. <laughs> I know, pulling oh, the arms down. And we'll meet again, downward dog or child pose. Let child pose be your neutral today. Let it be your place to receive. So if you need it, take it. We know, right? When we're not focusing on something, we get inspired. We have a thought. When we're not looking for something, we find it. So what if we could just be on the map today? As you inhale, we're gonna come high on the toes. As you exhale, bend your knees, hop, step, or float the feet in the hands. Inhale, we'll find our flat back here. Exhale, we're gonna forward fold. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair, so sit into it. And then exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, moving through your plank, chaturanga, or skip it. Inhale, high cobra, lift your chest here. Exhale, brings you back downward dog. Right leg's gonna lift. Let's press into those left toes, get high off that left heel. As you exhale, bend the knee, draw it towards your nose. Good, step the foot in between the hands. This time, back knee is going to stay lifted. You're going to float the arms and the chest up. High, crescent lunge. Inner thighs roll in towards each other. Okay? So we're internally rotating those thighs. Okay. Bring all your focus into the right leg, and we're going to hug that left knee up into the chest. So we did this on our back. Now we're doing it standing. Flex the right buttock and then flex the left foot. If you can, you're going to reach those arms up to the sky. Good. And then we're going to twist. So right hand can come to left knee, left arm behind. If you want to straighten the leg, that's an option as well. Two more breaths here. Whatever the universe is offering, that's okay today. Sometimes the unexpected happens, we realize, oof, I'm really wiggly today, right? <laughs> then we need to bring it all the way back into the lunge. And as you do, we're going to twist. The left elbow comes outside, right knee. Squeeze those inner thighs towards each other. And breathe. As you exhale, set the hands all the way down to the mat. Inhale, come to your point. Exhale, low, chaturanga. Good. Inhale, high cobra. Exhale, it back, downward dog. Good. 
second side, lift your left leg nice and high and then press into your right toes and off that heel. Good, knee's gonna draw to the nose. We're gonna round and curl it forward, nice and slow, exaggerated, step the foot in between the hands. Squeeze those inner thighs, lift the chest, lift the arms, soften the shoulders. Back knees working towards straightening if you can. And then inner thighs roll in towards each other. Good job, guys. All right, bring all your weight into that left foot and that right knee is gonna hug up into the chest. Good, if you want to, you're reaching those arms up to the sky. Nice, good, Ruthie. First arms up, you got it. Hip flexor strengthening and then Right hand, well, I don't know. You know what I mean. Opposite hand, <laughs> right knee lifted, right? Yeah. Left hand to outside of right knee, right arm behind, or you're doing the foot. Two breaths here. And then bring your gaze forward. Bring that right leg back. Hand to press. Opposite elbow outside the knee. We're going to twist. Good, As you exhale, set those hands down to the mat. We're going to meet in downward dog. So you decide how you get there. Totally up to you. Take five breaths here. See if child pose is of service. Softening our shoulders. All right, let's plant the left foot, step the right foot forward. Find your warrior one, inhale. Good. As you exhale, we're going to open to warrior two. So picking up the pace a little bit. Inhale, turn your palms up, reverse your warrior, and then straighten that right leg. So come into reverse triangle. That's right. Really soften and surrender down that back leg. Find this nice stretch through the right hip. And then we're gonna float into triangle. So drop the right hip, lift the left, float the right arm down, lift the left arm up. From here, bend your front knee and float into half moon. So you're gonna start, you're gonna plant that right hand to the floor or to a block. And you're going to lift the left. Beautiful. Reach that top arm a little higher, Pam, if you can. You got it. And then that top hand's going to come down. So we're going to be in a standing split. Drop the left hip, tuck it in, roll. So we're doing that internal rotation. Then we're going to keep going and move into revolve half moon. So left hand stays grounded, right arm reaches up to the sky. Squeeze the right buttock. Good. As you look down, we are transitioning from here into tree. So bend your right knee. Float this left leg up again, right? You've been working with this knee into chest thing, and then find your tree. If that transition didn't feel smooth for you, that's okay. Let it go. That's what the universe had for you today. When you're ready, arms can reach up to the sky, soften the shoulders. Look. For a point of focus that's not moving. Good. 
and then draw that knee forward one more time. Step it behind you about three feet and bring your hands to your hips. So my goal is for you to have both hips facing me like headlights. Feet about three feet away from each other and a little bit wider. Go about hip distance. And we're gonna fold forward into our pars votanasana. If you need to bend your knee, go ahead. Letting the head hang here. Shake out the head. All right, step the back foot up to meet the front. We're gonna sit in chair. So sit into your Utkatasana, inhale here. And then as you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. You decide how you get back to downward dog. Just let the universe decide for you, what do you need? It doesn't matter what we were looking for, what our expectations are. Sometimes the universe has other ideas. Come back, downward dog. Lift the left leg, press into the right toes, come high off that heel, good hand. Draw the knee towards your nose as you curl forward and step the foot in between the hands. Squeeze those inner thighs towards each other, reach the arms all the way up, Soften the shoulders. Back heels lifted if you can lift it. Yeah, so yeah, there we go. Work towards straightening the back leg. You're leaning back a little, Pam, so just, yeah, that's it. Now we're going to bring all this weight into the left foot and hug the right knee up into the top. Good. I think we're, I think I'm behind. Nope, I messed up guys, sorry. We're gonna step it back for warrior one. <laughs> we did this part already. Now we're gonna do warrior two. So I need something gonna work it right there. Straighten your front leg, we're coming to reverse triangle. Soften that left shoulder as you really surrender back into that reverse, reverse triangle. Good, press into those front toes. And then we're gonna come into triangle. So reach that left arm forward, drop the left hip, lift the right, load the left hand down, and then lift the right. We get to find these nice shapes, these long lines. See what is available today. As we soften, we're gonna bend that left knee a little bit. You're gonna bring your block forward or you're gonna bring your left hand to the ground as you come into half moon, right? If you need to keep that left knee bent, that's okay. Half arm reaches up a little bit, good. You got it. You're going to do that funky thing with your hand again. You're fighting me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I made you fall. So you're, you're doing this, and I'm worried about your wrist. Sorry, both hands come down into standing foot. So think about, yeah, you're going this way. So I want you to face like you're going to face the mirror. All right, and then I won't knock you out. <laughs> Flex the foot and lift the leg, yeah. And then we're gonna just switch right into revolve half moon. The right hand comes in front of the left foot and left arm reaches up to the sky. So now face the bars, if you can, but yeah. There you go, that's much better. Cool. Left the foot, good Pam, I know this is really, so if you can, you're gonna try to lift the right hip up a little bit. Yeah, I know, it's hard. All right, top hand comes down. We're gonna transition into tree. This is that funky transition. 
So sometimes we just have to let things go and see what's going to happen. As you shift through, right foot comes to left inner thigh or below the knee. Hands come to the heart. If you want more, you're reaching those arms all the way up to the sky. You're softening the shoulders. Breathing here. And then draw the knee forward, hands to the hips. We're just going to step it back. So we set up for our pars, though it's not enough. A little bit of width between the feet, about three feet of length, and then both hips forward. So most turn your turn. Yeah, that's it. Straighten that top leg if you can, and then we're going to hinge forward. And uh, breathe here. Good, Marcy. That's perfect with the box. That's perfect. Are you on the other leg? Did you do that leg already? Actually, Marcy, you're also on the opposite leg, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> All right. Good. Breathe here. Two more breaths. All right, let's step the back foot up to meet the front foot. Again, we're going to be in our chair, Utkatasana. Yeah. Good. As you have to hard at Utkatasana. So chest comes to thighs, arms reach forward, shoulders soften. And then bring your hands to the floor and walk your feet nice and wide into Malasana. Right arm can come inside the right knee, left arm reaches up to the sky, press into the feet. And then bring both hands back and switch, left arm inside, left leg, right arm up to the sky. Good, hands come back, it's up to you if you want to play with Bakasana right now. So this knee into the chest, here we are. We're bringing both knees in towards the chest now. Hands come down. Knees are going to be anywhere from outside the elbows to up towards the armpits. You're squeezing the belly in, maybe one or both feet lift. Great. Good, Marcy. If you can, you're going to try to just bring your feet towards each other. There you go. Beautiful. All right. Belly draws in. Yeah. Awesome. All right. We're going to meet in down the dog. Good job, guys. You decide how you get there. Breathe here. All right. Last one of these. So lift the right leg, press into the left toes, come back to heel. Inhale. As you exhale, bend the knee, draw it to the nose, step the foot in between the hands. Good. Inhale, come all the way up into your high lunge. Good. As you exhale, you're going to hug that left knee up towards your chest. Maybe you can do it without your arms. If you need them, use them. We're going to come into dancers now. So you're going to float the knee behind you, bring the hand to the inside of the foot, kick the leg back, lift the chest. Use this as a back bend. So look forward and kick the leg back. And then we're going to take this left foot and wrap it around 
onto the right side and we'll be an ankle to knee Utkatasana. So you decide from here, we're gonna be here for a couple breaths. You decide, you can come forward, bring the hands down. It's like a hip stretch on steroids a little bit. Yeah, unless your hips are like, no, thank you today. Not that it's good, but that's an option as well. We are going to float that left leg back and we'll meet in downward dog. So if you want your vinyasa, all good. Not digging it, no worries. Okay, last side of this. So lift your left leg, press into those right toes, lift the heel. Exhale, draw the knee towards your nose, squeeze it through, step the foot. Inner thighs roll together, lift the chest and the arms. And then press into the left foot and draw the right knee up towards your chest. Grounding into the standing leg. Okay. Now we're gonna float that right knee back for dancers. So as you bring the foot behind your right hand comes to the inside of the foot, we'll kick the leg back, lift the chest. Good, use this as the back bend. So it doesn't matter how forward you come. Really about getting into that shoulder on this extension of the spine. And then release the foot and swing that foot around. I know another one of these funky transitions as we sit into ankle to knee with Katasana. All right, so you may stay right here. You may find the opportunity to bring the hands down, head. Let your head hang. There you go. Good. Just breathe here. Surrender, right? We never know what the universe is going to offer. Sometimes we just have to stop working for it and see what happens. Two more breaths here. Did you get it on the side? Good job. And we're going to meet in downward dog. Okay, let's reach the right leg up nice and high, press into the left toes, lift the heel. Draw your knee towards your nose, step the foot out towards the right edge of your mat and drop your left knee. Good. Bend the left knee, sweep the right hand around, let's stretch out those quads and hip flexors that we've used a lot today. So all that stepping up, knee into chest, here we are. Let's release it out. If you're looking for more, you can come up and bring both hands to the foot and walk the right foot more center on your mat. So it's up to you. And then release the foot down, walk your right foot all the way across towards the left edge of your mat. Let's find our pigeon. So what I'm offering this week is this idea of sometimes we just, we need to be a little passive and let things unfold and be open to messages that we're not expecting. But there's an, there's an active part of that as well. And it falls within the quote that I, a quote that I think about often. We don't see things as they are, we see things as we are. So I know I looked in that purse, 
and the ring was there the whole time and I didn't see it. So we often are so clouded and cluttered in the mind that we don't actually see things the way the universe wants us to. So that's where we can be more active in this process. It, it feels passive, but it's not. When you open yourself up, when you let go, when you stop and put things aside sometimes, it's a very active process of changing how you are. We don't see things as they are, we see things as we are. Slowly make your way back to your downward dog. Let's stack the hips. Maybe wiggle it out if you want to flip your dog. Feel free. Come back around. We're gonna lift the left leg, press into the right toes, keep that right heel lifted. Knee is gonna bend and come towards the nose, step the foot towards the edge of your mat, drop your right knee. Right hand stays down, left arm floats behind. We're gonna stretch out those quads and hip flexors. If you'd like the deeper version, you're gonna walk the left foot more center on your mat, grab or right foot with both hands. Any more breath. And then release the foot, walk your left foot towards the right edge of your mat. And we're gonna fold. Pigeon pose. We're gonna slowly make our way back to down your dog, shake out the left leg. If you wanna stop your hip, go ahead. If you wanna flip your dog, go ahead. And then come on back around. We're gonna roll forward to plank, lower onto your belly and then flip right onto your back. Let's bend the knees and plant the feet and come into one final back bend. So it could be bridge pose or anything else you'd like or nothing, right? Sometimes just receiving what you need to the unexpected.
Let your thighs be parallel to each other. Good. And then slowly lower down. Just sway your knees from side to side just to release out your hips. And then float your way into your rest. So Shavasana is such a powerful way to practice this idea, right? We just surrender the body completely. We lay in stillness and we see what the universe offers us. Sometimes it's not what we think it's going to be. How do we approach that with acceptance?
Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. And reach your arms all the way over your head and stretch fingers to toes. And then draw your knees into your chest. Slowly make your way onto your right side. And then find your way up to a comfortable seated position. And bring your hands to your heart and close your eyes. Soften into the space that you and the universe created for yourself today. I'm so grateful to be a part of it. It's my honor and pleasure always to guide you. Namaste.